Dear friends, a very warm welcome to the Global Stat Academy, the statistics for data science. Today, we are going to learn about types of sampling. So what exactly is undersampling and oversampling? Oversampling and undersampling in data analysis are techniques used to adjust the class distribution of a data set. That is the ratio between the different classes and categories which are represented. These terms are used in both statistical sampling, survey design methodology and in machine learning. Oversampling and undersampling are just opposite and roughly equivalent techniques. They both involve using a bias to select more samples from one class than from the another. Where exactly these techniques are used and why? To save time when data are desired more quickly than would be possible with a complete census. Next, some population can be considered as infinite and hence, therefore, it is the only sample which can be used. Next is seeking feedback based on the surveys. Last but not the least, the product quality testing. Oversampling is the process of sampling a signal with a sampling frequency significantly higher than twice the bandwidth or highest frequency of the signal being sampled. Oversampling helps avoiding aliasing, improves resolution and reduces noise. Undersampling is a technique where one sample a band pass filtered signal at a sample rate below the usual Nyquist rate but is still able to reconstruct the signal. Tools and examples. We can use SAS for the deployment. If you see in the right side of the diagram, we have plot a sample rates in the y-axis versus the upper edge frequency the x-axis for a band of width 1. The gray areas are combinations that are allowed in the sense that no two frequencies in the band allies to the same frequency. The dark gray areas corresponding to the undersampling with the maximum value of n in the equation of this section. You can reach out to us at globalstat.in in YouTube, LinkedIn, Facebook and Telegram. Thank you.